क्रोत का ना चल चूस प्लीज़ सब्सक्रैब् चुस्को पक्ने बेल बटन प्रेस नीचे प्रति वीडियो नोटिफिकेसन हेलो एव्री वन वेलकम बैक दिस्ज रम्य श्री ऐम गोइंग टू डील द सबजेक्ट आफ कंप्यूटर फंडमेंटल अं फोटोषा फर् डिग्री फस्ट इयर बी काम अं बी एस स्टूडेंट्स टूडे अवर टापिक इज द जनरेशन आफ कंप्यूटर्स बेसिकली वट इज मेड बै जनरेशन जनरेशन इन ए कंप्यूटर टाक इज स्टेपिंग टेक्नजी जनरली द टर्म जनरेशन वर्स Use it to distinguish between varying hardware technologies, but nowadays it has been extended to include both hardware and software. So there are totally the five generation of computers known till today. Each generation has been discussed now. So let us go for the first generation of computers. See, this is the first generation of computers. Still start from 1942, 1956. So, these computers were made for use of vacuum tubes. They are identified as first generation of computers. They were much costlier and occupied a lot of space. They consumed a lot of power and produced lot of heat. So, the first generation computers are having low capacity to store. Some examples for the first generation computers are IBM 700 series, ENIAC. ENIAC means Electronic Numerical Integrated and Computer. ADVAC. ADVAC computer means Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer. And UNIVAC. UNIVAC means Universal Accounting Company. So these computers are examples for the first generation computers. And these computers are used machine language for programming machine language means machine can only understand this language so this is the detailed information about the first generation computer let us go for second generation of computers these computers are used transistor technology in place of vacuum tubes were replaced by transistors were called second generation of computers these transistors having low expense than vacuum tubes it consumes less power and generated little heat as a result of these computers became smaller in size than first generation of computers and also cheaper in cost than first generation of computers and could work at high speed than first generation computers in the second generation computers are used assembly language for programming assembly language having either zeros and ones the programming of these generation computers only in the form of zeros and ones for example the second generation computers are ibm 7090 ibm 70941 ibm 70942 so these are the information about the second generation computers so let us go for the third generation computers these computers are introduced by 1964 by ibm company ibm means international business machines so these computers are used integrated circuits that means ics so in the third generation of computers will develop these circuits only then these computers were smaller in size and faster in operation than the second generation of computers later days these computers are used semiconductor memories for lsi chips so the magnetic disk drum trays are used as semiconductor memories in the third generation computers having the examples of cdc cdc means control data corporations 7600 and digital data corporations pdp 11 these computers are used high level languages those are Cobol, Fortran, Basic, Pascal, and Algol. These are the information about the third generation computers. And then let us go for the fourth generation of computers. These computers are built in. The technology is microprocessor. These uh, fourth generation computers are used VLSI chips. VLSI means very large scale integration chips for both CPU and memory. So these computers. large storage capacity and performs very high speed so 
these computers are Cray YMPC, Cray Y2, IBM 3090, etc. Then we can go for the fifth generation of computers. Now we are in fifth generation of computers. These computers are use ULSI technology. That means ULSI means ultra large scale integration chips. So the millions of components into a single IC that combination of ULSI. So these computers having the intelligent programming and knowledge based problem solving techniques, high performance multiprocessor systems and improve human machine interfaces. So these computers understand natural languages like English, Japanese etc. So the programmers will not have to learn programming languages. They will be able to speak commands or key information in their mother tongues. So these computers will have the intelligent software that is artificial intelligence. The artificial intelligent programming user will tell the computer what to do. So the computer will do the task of programming. Thus the user will not have the burden of programming. In this generation, the operating systems will be developed. Those are Windows 95, 98, 2000, XP like that. Unix and Linux. Unix are developed in this generation. So this is the detailed information about the five generations of computers. So thank you so much for watching.